Hi, I'm Nick from Canaweld, coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Today's video is going to be about our MIG Slash Stick 202. So this is an upgraded version of the old MIG MMA 201. Uh, the big main difference is that this one now has the wire, the roll system uh, integrated into it. So you can accept the full size rolls without putting the attachment on the back. So this is a 200 amp MIG welder slash stick welder, as I'm sure you guessed. If you want to be doing stick welding, you select this option here and follow the icon to your amperage. And that's how you'll be adjusting your stick welding. Today we're going to be doing some MIG welding. So we're going to flick this up here. We have our voltage control here and our wire speed here. Um, if we were doing some different types of work, you can also see that this unit will accept the spool gun. It's got the uh, pin connection here. Today we're going to be doing some stainless steel welding. So we have it set roughly where we want it to be. We're going to be using some 045 stainless steel flux core wire. Let's take a look in here. So we're using a knurled, knurled roller today, an 045. And you can see here we're using the same steel drive roll system that we use with all of our machines. This is a, a superior drive roll system that feeds really nicely and it lasts a very, very long time. We've never had any issues with them. We've got everything all set up nicely now. You can also adjustment, uh, which is nice if you're doing repeated MIG welds over and over and over again. I have it set exactly where I like it, so I'm not going to tangle with that. And we also have this button here uh, for when you're feeding the wire through when you're changing your rolls over and that kind of stuff you can use this to jog the wire system instead of using your torch and the trigger so like I mentioned we got some stainless steel plate behind me I have the machine roughly dialed in to where I want it to be I was a little bit a little bit thin last time but we're just gonna try to slow it down and uh, see what kind of results we get when I'm done doing the weld I'm gonna bring it up to the camera so you guys can take a look and we'll see what we can do with this thing okay so let's go ahead and put our safety gear on. We're using one of our new Canna Weld helmets today. I like these helmets a lot. They're really, really light. They save you a lot of neck fatigue and they have a one in 250,000 tin speed, which is super fast. Okay, let's see if I can do a little bit better of a weld than we did on our last one. Okay, I'm gonna count to three, drop my mask, I'm gonna do the weld, and I'm gonna bring it up there for you guys to see. One, two, three. All right, that feels like it went really well. You can see all the slag is popping up on its own. Just give it a hand. Came up good. All right, so hopefully the camera can pick this up and you guys can see that's the bead I just did and this was our test bead we did about 10-15 minutes ago. This is a really nice machine. It feeds really smoothly. It handles the stainless steel wire really great. It's got a 100% duty cycle when you're welding at 170 amps, which is really quite high. Um, if you have any more questions about it, I invite you to check it out on our website. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you're enjoying our videos. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you're tech savvy. And until next time, guys, thanks a lot for watching and have a lot of fun.